All right, traders, we are back again with another seven day weekly market forecast, and we're going to look at the news as usual. So, we'll start out looking at the news, and today is Monday, so it is 11 a.m. here, and we have about another hour and 10 minutes before we see this CAD news hit the uh, market, which is going to be uh, BOC Governor Paula's speaks, and that's going to be at 12.20 p.m., so probably about another hour and 10 minutes here. This video will probably be not out by that time. Then you're going to see 7.30 p.m., and we should have our video out by then, and that will be the Aussie. You're going to see some Aussie news at 7.30 p.m., and then you're going to see the one at about whenever tentatively scheduled, okay? And then Tuesday, you're looking at 3.30 a.m. for the pound, 4 a.m. for the euro, and again, 8.30 p.m. for the one. Uh, Wednesday, it's going to be 3.30 a.m. pound, two events. The U.S. dollar has three events at 7.30 a.m. And then 7.30 p.m., the Aussie has two events, the unemployment change and the unemployment rate. And then Thursday, 7.30, U.S. dollar, three events. And then 7.30 a.m., three events for U.S. dollar, 9 a.m., U.S. dollar again. All right, and then 4.45 p.m. is going to be the New Zealand dollar. And then we close out the week on Friday at 1.35 p.m. with the um, JPY with the yen. And then we have 7.30 a.m. with the CAD and then 9 a.m. with the U.S. dollar. There is some news on Sunday with the WAN. If we tra anyone trades that, it's going to be 9 p.m. Um, there's no news that I really want to look at to say let's look for something to trade. But um, we could possibly start doing some news trading. So... I'll keep you guys up on that. Okay, so let's go right to our charts after this. Okay, so starting out with the Aussie Yen, and you can see I'm using Ichimoku here, and I have the sub here. And what I am looking at is a few things. We're going strictly Ichimoku, trying to teach people to make sure everyone stays in line with Ichimoku we have so many traders struggling with price action so the thing that I'm looking at here is this daily time frame we see we were in a range here so I'm gonna mark the range level really quickly we were in a range a small range and we just busted out of that range alright looks like we pulled out of that range and now price is continuing higher well price broke its first bull fractal here there was no other bull fractals here that price has broken and then now price is, attack, is attacking this level here, this previous bull fractal, this free, previous bear fractal level. So price is attacking that level. There's a lot of resistance ahead. So we could see this pair pull back. To, if you get up to this level and you see a breakout, don't trust it until you see this crossover here. I mean, everything else is bullish. You got a TK crossover that's bullish, but it's a dark cloud here. You still got a lot of thunderstorms brewing on the uh, horizon here. So I would be careful. All right. So price may come up to this level here which is about 89.49 and you may see a bounce here and price may drop pull back down to around this level here where the bottom of this fractal is somewhere in this area and then price may start to go higher because then that will give this cloud a chance to turn over and you'll see things change now with that said we'll go to the four hour time frame now the four hour time frame we've been breaking bull fractals for quite a while haven't broken any bear fractals. We broke out of the cloud here, started breaking bull fractals, have not broken any bear fractals. Price broke this bull fractal, then pulled right back to that level here. Now it looks like price is taking off. It's going to take off again off of this level. Now, again, we're looking for price to attack this level. So if price attacks this level here at 89.49, we may see price hit and then come back. This is where we're going to start looking for a trade. Price may retrace all the way down here but we're not sure here let's go back to the daily if price is going to continue this downward move that it's in let's see the overall market let's see what the overall market is looking like and it's slightly bearish you could say yeah it's bearish the, the immediate more than likely we would see mark the market continue its downward momentum if we can't break this level but then if it continues that level and we're trying to break bull fractals we've broken our first bull fractal to signify on the daily time frame that there's a change of direction so you know the fractal indicates an, a change of something a change of direction we broke this level 
and now we're attacking this fractal level if we come back and bounce off of that on the daily then we may see this price continue to the upside um that's about it for this Aussie yen go to this four hour really quickly check it out yeah I'm not, I, I, I would trade this breakout here we're getting a little distance on Kijinsen, but Kijinsen still pointing up. You still have momentum to the upside. Upside, you still ha you still have a lot of power to the upside. The price the price would need to break and violate this fractal before we start seeing the market move back down. So, if we can't get past this fractal, and we just violated it with a close of this fractal here, with a close of this candle here, then we would see the market maybe drop and continue back down to the downside and then this would be a false break of the range here but based on the daily it didn't really look like that so we trade what we see currently I see we're breaking bull fractals we have a resistance level up ahead we'll stay with the way the market's going the immediate direction breaking bull fractals until the market proves otherwise Aussie New Zealand dollar daily time frame you could see this is a sideways market we're finding support at this level down here this is a zone that I made and the zone is a little high here let me make it exactly as a fractal zone it would have been much like this pretty much this level here so we got a level of 108.924 and this level here which is about 109.322 that's where you see this little zone here the market is failing to violate this zone you got a big clamp here you can see we're flattening out here you're sideways anyway but you can see this uh, your Tenkinsen, your Tenkinsen sub is way down here big separation from your Kijinsen you see what happens when you get far away the market comes back so we're far away here we have bouncing on resistance we may see this market move up higher now the other thing that that the market will do if it's not gonna move higher to get closer to Kijinsen it'll just stay in a range until Kijinsen catches up and then continue to the downside but this is more of a, a range a sideways movement and the market was moving higher yeah we had higher movement than the market went in sideways and range so the market may go higher so I currently would love to trade this support level here um, you got a little bit of distance from Kijinsen and you got a big clamp here so if you took Ichimoku off your chart this is a nice range to trade here until price violates this bull this bear fractal here we will look to get to the upside here now we're not even looking at violating bull or bear fractals because we're sideways pretty much but this is a strong level if once price violates this level we'll probably see the market continue to the downside <clears throat> and you can see with the bounces of these um, support levels here even using Ichimoku it doesn't really help us because you see we violated everything in Ichimoku and still went to the upside and fooled around in here so Ichimoku doesn't help you much here especially on the daily here so if we go to the four hour we may see a little something so we were talking about the bounce off of that level so think about this <clears throat> if we get a bounce off of this level here then the market's gonna go higher right we're trying to get back to Kijin's in level at least get him get back in the equilibrium but we don't really like using Ichimoku as I said in a big range like this so let's just go to the four hour we already marked that daily Kijin so if we could get a breakout right if we get a breakout a Kumo breakout that'll show the bounce off of this bottom level we ought to have a fractal somewhere in here not yet though let me see no fractal level this could be the next fractal Maybe this level might have went a little higher so we don't have a fractal in this area but the thing about it is if we're gonna bounce off of this bottom level based off of the daily this is the start of it and the price would have to break out of the cloud you get a Kumo breakout to the upside you get this crossover here but once price violates this cloud you're gonna have you're going to have all bullish signals on the four hour time frame and I would trade this breakout to the upside if that happens and trade it just be a careful of this level here I would pay attention to that that one zero nine six eight level if you violate that level then you may see the market continue higher and then we'll start looking for this level up here which is going to be about 113 to 11. 
All right, so that's what we're looking at now. Currently, we're sideways. We need to see some movement here. You see this bare fractal here, and you don't have any other fractals in this area. So with a breakout of the cloud, that will make sure we're not breaking any bare fractals and continuing back down to this level here. So we'd love to see the market break this cloud level for a Kumo breakout trade. All right. Now, we are sitting at this resistance level based off of this fractal level here and the market currently has pulled down found this fractal level bounced on this level twice so now we need to see what's going to happen is this level going to hold or are we going to break out if it's going to hold it will violate this fractal level and continue to the downside all right a violation of this fractal level could be a good trade possibly because you'll have everything still bearish and a break of this fractal level you could have a tight stop loss trade past this level looking for the breakout to the downside of this four hour of this daily time frame here that's what it would represent that the market is breaking this um, overall range level with a violation and maybe move down farther so looking at that four hour time frame just be careful of these levels you got two levels you want to pay attention to you want to break this cloud or you want to see a break below this level a break below this level may signify a move to the downside is is coming all right so that's looking at Aussie New Zealand dollar let's move on Aussie US dollar daily time frame Aussie US dollar breaking all kinds of levels with some strength to the upside when this daily candle closes you have a TK crossover I wouldn't take the trade where it is okay I'm gonna wait for a pullback but there is some very strong force to the upside with this pair here all right the Aussie US dollar is moving strong to the upside all signals are going to be bullish once you close today if this closes anywhere near where it is you'll have a crossover I think you'll have that crossover no matter what unless we turn all the way bearish with this candle which more than likely won't happen now you can see this fractal level right here where we bounced came back to that level the first time and then dropped and then came back to this level a big strong candle violated that fractal level this is a move to the upside the market is moving all right now we're gonna look for the market to if it violates and we can't get into the trade we're gonna look for the market to pull back to this level here which is gonna be seven two six seven zero and then we're gonna look for our bounce off of that level so let's go to the four hour time frame and see what it looks like so with the four hour time frame we missed a trade here we missed the trade you could have got this trade here all right, there was a fractal break here. Market never came back to any of these bull bear fractals, but we are breaking bull, uh, bull fractals here. So that would have been a good opportunity. Here's a break here. And Kijinsen's pointing up still. It's not flattening out. You still have a lot of momentum to the upside. You could see your cloud strong point, strong angle to the upside, strong angle with your Tinkinson and Kijinsen. I mean, TK, your Chiku span is way above all kinds of price. There's all kind of bear, bullish signals here. There's nothing to tell us to trade short. All right, so I'm going to wait to find that pullback level because I don't want to get in at the top here. This would have been a good level after the break and close right here, but we already moved up a little higher. I can probably get the trade at this level here. All right, so that level there is going to be between 733.16 and 734.30. All right, and that's where we're going to look for price to get back to, and then we're going to take this to the upside again, continue with the Aussie US dollar. All right, so we'll go on to the Euro Aussie. Euro Aussie, strong Kumo breakout to the downside, violated this uh, once range that we were in, sideways range on the daily time frame. I've always told you guys the market moves higher. Once it gets to its reaching uh, its top point, it usually goes sideways and then drops, and you'll see a big drop. Now, if the market's moving down, you see the market come down, go sideways, and then violate and go to the upside. Same thing here. We were moving up. We were sideways. Now we violated to the downside. This candle needs to close and then see this TK crossover. I mean, this uh, your cloud, you need to see your future change to bearish. I don't believe you'll see that on this candle close so I'm looking at this level here this is the fractal level here if the market can move back to that level and get a bounce and then see what the market does from there maybe we get a bounce and then look for another uh, move to the downside off of the bounce and then maybe a bounce off of this rejection so what I'm looking for basically is something like this so the market moves out <clears throat> okay so we have the pull down here maybe and we may find support here because you don't have the turnover here and then once we get that 
we'll look for maybe the market to come back somewhere in this level up to where this fractal is or the bottom of the cloud and then we'll start getting really interested in this pair because then what are we going to look for we're going to look for price to come down and then continue to the downside for the bigger move now if the market doesn't do that okay but you're going to see you may have resistance here so you may find the cloud or this bottom level here that's around the cloud pretty much so you may get through the cloud here with a breakout and then you may see it pull back and then go again all right so I don't really trust this breakout to the downside I don't think it's gonna go real far and I don't have the 150 on here so let's put it on here to see what this market is really doing I haven't been putting it on when I've been showing just Ichimoku I'm trying to teach everyone to trade it properly get back from trade and price action only because some traders don't understand that okay so we could see the market move down to this level all right but I'm looking at this fractal level first so we'll take it as it comes and then we'll know what to do so we go down to the four hour time frame let me I'll mark that cloud this is the bottom of the cloud right in the same thing so we don't need to mark that we'll see what it is so that bottom level here is going to be the bottom of the daily cloud so you can see we violated this fractal here then the market may move a little lower so now what I'm going to look for since we're violating maybe the markets continue with that downward move we'll just make our level here that's what I'm going to start looking for first now the market's not going to the market doesn't have to honor this level but the one thing about the market you could see we broke this bear we broke this bear fractal right here then the market came right back to the bear fractal level now we could have came all the way up here because we had a big wick so this would have been a zone all right but the market wouldn't have violated the structure until it broke this fractal here so now it the structure is the break of this fractal here so the market could actually pull all the way back to this level and then drop and this would put us right inside what we're talking about for the daily it won't break the structure because we still have to close above this fractal here all right so we would stay in the st in structure with the market and then we would just be trading to the downside so there's a good chance to catch a good move to the downside here we just have to be prepared do our homework check it every every four hours and then we can catch this move to the downside I think you're gonna see a pullback though and then that's when we're gonna start getting really interested in the Euro Aussie alright so the Euro CAD let's go to the Euro CAD looks almost the same on the daily time frame here you're showing a lot of weakness because you're inside the cloud first of all you're between two fractals and you um, are sideways here and everything is a t your TK crossover is bearish your cloud is bearish right now okay so you got a lot of storms brewing for the downside if we get a violation of this level here that's where the markets gonna show us that it's taking off to the downside alright you still had that strong move up now remember what I said what does the market like to do it likes to move to the upside go on a range and then either move upside or downside now if you had a big run like this before the market drops to the downside it usually goes right it goes into a range same thing when it's gonna break break back out to the upside right it'll do the exact same thing but with that said um, the market still needs to violate this fractal here we're between two fractals here so if we can violate this level here because this looks like a strong support level based off of this fractal that we violated and then the market has attempted to break this level twice you can see so we've broken this level this is the daily time frame too so you broke this fractal here you went up this was news here then the market came all the way back this is what I'm talking about trading news the markets gonna get back into equilibrium so you catch that news near the top and trade that thing to the downside a lot of times even on that same day it drops all the way back down to the same level alright but anyway the market moved higher came back down went a little higher and then came right back to this fractal level and then now the market bounced off of that fractal level but now it's attacked that level again so is the second attack gonna violate or is it gonna hold strength we'll see what happens here so let's go to the four hour time frame really hard to get a a feel for if we're gonna violate this level down here but we're between the two fractals so that's that's a, a good thing we we can see where the market may go so what we'll look at here we still need this is even with the daily time frame and the four hour you're between these two fractals here this is what the mark daily is looking at so with this 
and it's hard to say about breaking fractals in this sideways market but if we break this fractal level here we're breaking a range pretty much all right we're breaking this range level that we're in we're in a range here let me move this all the way over it's been in a range since I drew that and I haven't changed it and it's been in a range so you got a lot of volatility look how thick this cloud is a lot of resistance to the upside so we may see this continue to the downside four hours really strong with resistance all right and this is sideways market pretty much you got a good trend here you know but overall it's a sideways market everything is your crossover is bullish now you got a TK crossover that's bullish but your flat keys and saying you got a cloud that's bare so we got mixed signals that's why we want to start to see the market start to uh, honor some of these signals that we're seeing so if we got a first signal of a TK crossover we'd like to see the market start to move higher we violate a bull fractal then we could start understanding what's happening with the market we need to break this strong support and resistance level then you'll find some resistance again at the top of the cloud if you mark this level here this flat top is gonna cause a lot of resistance for us on the way up so we need to be aware of that level so I made that gray so you could see that's part of the cloud the daily that four hour cloud you get up to that level the market needs to violate that level if it violates that level depending on your crossover whatever you have happening here again if we don't trade the breakout we want to see the pull back and the bounce off of that level so that's way ahead of us way ahead of schedule we may see the market drop so currently it's sideways nothing really great to trade uh, I don't love this range to trade so I wouldn't trade this range I'm just gonna be patient on the euro CAD all right so now we're on the euro swiss franc same thing you see a lot of sideways movement here another pair that i really don't look at trading there's nothing really for me to tell you here we're kind of you can't even say what we are we're sideways okay overall we're bullish but we're sideways right now the market's doing nothing all right you have a green red two greens smaller than the red so go to the four hour time frame it doesn't even give us much information look at all these crossovers this market is doing absolutely nothing I want to see a break of this bull fractal here and see the market attempt to uh, reach this level here if not then you want to see the market break out of this level here and continue to the downside until then it's not really doing anything hard to really give you any clues of what the market's doing you can see all these crossovers here how flat everything is on the Ichimoku system since everything is this flat you don't really even want to trade Ichimoku with this all right so that's the euro swiss franc we'll go to euro pound daily time frame euro pound daily time frame this is a resistance level that the market has failed to break through we are bullish but you can see this thick volatility here this is a lot of volatility and you're getting that because of this sideways movement here we'd love to see the market continue and stay in structure we haven't broken any bull fractals we broke a bull fractal here but we're sideways as stated so in order to really show you what the market structure is we'd have to break this bull fractal here because we're sideways and we want to get below the lowest fractal and the highest fractal so break out of this upper fractal here that would tell us exactly what the market's deciding to do we get a break of the bull fractal here and the market continues to the upside okay so that's what we would be looking at you have all bull signals on the Ichimoku system all right so we go down to the four hour time frame and since we're looking to be bullish okay we want to see another fractal somewhere we want to see another fractal here this is so flat and then all different kind of crossovers you got resistance to, to the top side I uh, really don't like this here to talk about trading if I was trading I want to see a strong close above this level so I'd want to see a close that would be pretty much something like this give me a close above this level boom get up there something like that and then I start thinking about maybe I enter that trade on the close up here put a stop loss a little below that level but other than that if I don't do that what I want to see if it's gonna close and then we wait for the market to do what it does move up pull back there's where we get interested and then go higher so exactly what we're going to be looking for the market may pull back all right that's where we get interested and then the market goes after we already took our profit I mean already got entered our trade and then we look for our profit all right so we don't really have any profit levels set on trades right off the bat unless we're looking for a specific support and resistance level and that's where we even look for our targets just to look for uh, the sort of support and resistance levels but euro pound nothing really much happening here um, euro yen daily time frame euro yen daily time frame you can see this support level down here this was a uh, made off of um, let me see this level here and these levels here so we made this nice zone here you can see we have a descending triangle pattern 
based off of this descending triangle pattern in the flat base so the market's approaching this triangle again Ichimoku is not really helping us here you can see all the crossovers how everything looks so we're near that level but we failed to reach that level here we may fail to reach that level and see the market drop we broke a bull fractal but again we're sideways in a range can't really judge breaking fractals in a range okay so four hour time frame you can see how we flattened out here we're finding support at this level so the market came down and found support at its level that it made its own level and I could make this a zone but I'm gonna make this level right here the markets currently finding support at that level alright so normally I could even look at a trade off of this support level here the market is moving higher I'm not gonna look at that level you can see we're rejected I'm not gonna take a trade here though I wanna see the market violate this level we're close to this trend line here now I don't just base my trades off of um, I'm too close to this trend line I like to see horizontal support and resistance before I start thinking but <clears throat> this pair I'm looking for this pair to move higher nothing really nothing really to trade though just looking for the market to get to a level where we could start looking for a trade currently I could trade this bottom here I've, I've done trades where we trade this minor support level all right and the markets kinda of rejecting that level now if I was gonna trade that level I'd trade inside out on the next candle and get above that a little bit above that level with a stop loss here trade to the upside now how much room do we really really have to the upside is it gonna violate this level we don't really know all right so that's what you're looking at on the four hour and the daily as we said so yeah pretty pretty much waiting to see what the market's gonna do I do like this little support level on the four hour so I may wait and see what we get here and then I'll keep you keep tabs on that euro yen that's one of my favorite pairs but now we're going to euro New Zealand dollar this euro New, New Zealand dollar breakout looks just much like a couple of the other breakouts that we looked at we had a breakout here but it looks like it wasn't valid until where was this valid so we know it wasn't valid here the breakout was wow it was valid here alright but we're so far from the cloud we're moving away from everything this is a pair that I'm gonna look for the market and this is a nice pair this daily time frame we just had this strong breakout to the downside what we really want to see is the market move up into this level here which is gonna be either at this level here at about 171 570 or back up to this fractal level here which is going to be 172 628 if we could get a pullback because everything's bearish on the Ichimoku system so we're going to be looking for a short trade maybe we get up to this level right here that's going to be this fractal level and then we see the market drop off all right now it may not reach up to that level it may just do this here there's a fractal level and then we see the market go all right so this this is a strong move to the downside and I think there's going to be a lot more downside movement here just where we're going to catch it so we go to our four hour time frame and four hour really strong to the downside I don't see anywhere where this is going to retrace too much higher not a lot of volatility but you're getting some volatility okay because you got a little bit sideways movement here still haven't broken any bull fractals that's the main thing here so a lot of times if the market's going to range and then go higher it'll move up to one of these bull fractal levels and it won't break it so it could be this level or this level and then drop and then stay in that range and then go to the upside so currently there's nothing to trade here we're sideways um, let's mark that sideways support and resistance level and we have a little zone here now what we'll look for maybe price will get back up to the Tinkin Sen or Kijin Sen we get a bounce and continue to the downside everything's bearish here we want to trade to the downside the daily is really bearish so we need to be looking for a short trade on the euro New Zealand dollar um, euro US dollar daily time frame oh it's not too nice it's all sideways 
um, you could see this trend line so we are still moving to the upside but currently we're doing not much of anything Ichimoku doesn't help me here it's flat uh, let's go to the four hour see what we got on there okay so four hour pretty much we're we're trading inside this one candle but not the whole candle body so let's mark this first of all we're inside this one candle this green candle we're inside the whole candle we're trading inside of it but we're inside this little range here and we can mark the range a couple ways and this is really consolidation not really a range really it's after a big move or a nice strong move the market gets in a little consolidation then moves higher so close above this level I would look at the trade to the upside alright now let's go back to that daily let's see that and that would be that would put us in line with maybe a possible move not much higher I mean we don't have a lot of room based off of the support and resistance levels but if we get past this level here then who knows this could be a lot of a lot of um, movement to the upside now we may see the market come here bouncing and get back down to this level but overall it's still trending to the upside all right so I don't love this pair right now to trade but we are in a nice little consolidated phase if we close above that consolidation it's a possibly a nice setup for a move to the upside we don't have a lot of room here so if we're looking at it, it would only be pretty much like um we're only 50 pips away from this level and adjust the four hour probably give us about 70 if that 70 somewhere 70 pips right there so not a lot of room for a trade here not a great pair to trade it is showing a nice move to the upside on the daily on the four hour here so you could see we had a breakout move then you had a break of the fractal level and we've been breaking bear fractal bull fractals ever since so a close above this level will see you to this level possibly and then maybe who knows if we violate this level we could be searching out this top upper level here so I wouldn't be afraid to take this trade here you got this consolidation the market's gonna eventually start moving again you'll see it go to the upside now remember about the news for the US dollar so that could be a, a big thing alright so that's your US dollar pound Swiss franc pound Swiss franc everything is bearish pretty much on this daily time frame you got a TK crossover that's bearish your dark cloud is bearish okay and you got a lot of volatility here okay and you're below the cloud so everything is bearish sequel span is probably below price or just a little little bit inside price let's see where it is it's a little bit below price all right we need to violate this level to see this market continue to the downside so I don't know what it's gonna do here is it gonna bounce on this level and come back up here you know if it does it's gonna come back to this range level or pretty much to where this flat Kijinson is so let's mark that on our time on our day four hour on our daily and then look at it on our four hour alright so you can see we're flat here this is ugly I really don't like this and it this doesn't help us one drop I, I want to see the trade to the downside then it'll be more in line with Ichimoku you get a breakout to the downside of this fractal here once we break and close below this fractal I would look to take this trade to the downside because overall based off of the daily time frame that's what it pretty much looks like it wants to go to the downside based off of all the bearishness here you're below this Tinkinson you you failed to break the Tinkinson level now you you also are failing to break this support and resistance level also all right but if we fa if we violate that level with a nice move to the downside that markets continuing to the downside then we start seeking out our support and resistance levels where we want to mark our trades now this is the pound Swiss franc I don't mess around with a lot of Swissy pairs so let's go to the pound yen pound yen daily time frame looks like we may have a bounce here now um, we're still sideways here but you see we have resistance from the Kijinsen and overall the sideways movement is this level here this will keep us in touch with the range if we're gonna call this range here alright so that would be the level here so we would violate this Kijinsen we'd see the violation you got a lot of volatility here when you see that big vol volatility that means the markets all over the place it could do anything its prices have been volatile so if it holds some resistance here you may see the market continue to the downside off of this bounce 
so we want to know that we have it marked already so when we go to our four hour time frame we're still so bearish here with a TK crossover that's bearish your cloud is bearish Chiku span is within the price right now then we go to the four hour time frame and the four hour tells us something different the four hour is bullish the four hour has failed to break any bull frat bear fractals yet we'll know it's going to the downside once we violate a bear fractal we are between two fractals right now so we need to see what the market's going to do is it going to violate this bear fractal or violate this bull fractal that'll put us in the line with the daily to see what's going on with the daily so with that daily if we can violate a bear fractal then that resistance level is going to hold we will continue to the downside and we'll go back to the four hour time frame four hour time frame all your signals will be bullish pretty much with each emoku so we're opposite on time frames here so trade what you see what you see the market doing on your time frame all right so if we violate these bull fractals you, again you may see some support here but uh, once you break a bull fractal or a bear fractal you usually see a good pullback or a good start of a run all right so that's pound yen pound us dollar pretty much the exact same thing here this is sideways market it's overall sideways you see and what I'd be looking at is a bounce off of this level here you got to bounce off of your Kijinsen now if we violate this high of this red fractal of this red candle here this bear candle if we violate its high and close above it make a new high then the markets not ready yet okay so sideways it's really bad to just you can't even really trade Ichimoku with this sideways market like this. So then we go to the four hour time frame. We're between two fractals. Ichimoku has to, I mean, uh, price has to tell us what it wants to do. Are you going to violate this fractal or are you going to violate this fractal, fractal? Continue to the downside. Now, even with a violation of this, of this fractal, be careful. We got our Kijins in here. And what could happen here? We violate that fractal, but then we find this market starts to go sideways and falls into a range. The market loves these ranges, and that's what could happen with a violation of this fractal here. And I don't love this fractal because this fractal is not at a point. The bottom, the top, it's not the bottom. It should have made its own bottom and been the top or the bottom. It's Instead, it's in between the, the top and the bottom here. So we need to see the market here tell us what it's going to do. Right now, it's not telling us much. Everything is bullish on the, day, on the four hour time frame. So continue to look for the bullish move with a breakout above this level. All right, a fractal break above that level. The market's just pulled back. Maybe it continues to go higher. So that's what we'll wait on. See what the market could do on that note. But with that, with that said, let's go back to the daily. There is strong resistance here, but we can violate that because it doesn't look like we're even honoring Ichimoku much based off of this sideways move. All right, so that's pound US dollar. New Zealand dollar yen, strong breakout to the upside. This pair has broken the upside, broken the bull fractal daily time frame. Everything is uh, bullish on this pair. This pair is a great pair to look for a long trade. Now, problem with this trade right now, let me put this on here. Okay, we may find resistance at this point and then find the market range and start to do a couple other things but we're at this level here we already broke this red level and this is the first attempt back at this level so more than likely we may see a pullback here and the market drop and then we could look for another move to the upside off of a bounce of this level around here 78 526 and 77 954 so currently I will, I'm not going to trade the counter trend move because I'm thinking we will see the move to the downside all right and then that's just going to be a retracement will that retracement how far will it go now I just told you 77 uh, 954 and 78 526 but be careful this is the fractal level here so it could be a little higher here which would be 78 15 uh, 78 59 5 you can see the market move back to that level and then move higher all right but currently I'm not gonna look for the retreat for the uh, counter trend trade so I'm gonna sit patiently you can see we are bouncing off of this previous fractal level and it's the first attack at that level all right so that's going to be a big thing so we go down to the four hour time frame four hour we're between these two fractals we want to see what the market's going to do being between these two fractals the market needs to tell us something right it needs to violate one of these levels our fractals are getting a little bit closer together you can see they were farther 
then they're getting closer here so this may be signifying a trend uh, a range is possible and we would expect that because we may see this level hold as resistance see the market fall and then move higher all right so there's some opportunities with New Zealand dollar yen but currently right now we're just waiting as we sit between two fractals New Zealand dollar US dollar same thing nice breakout to the upside but on this pair you could see there's a big difference so let's go back to a previous pair um, this New Zealand dollar yen actually that's not the one I wanted I don't know which pair I was looking at. Okay, well. So we're on New Zealand dollar, US dollar. You could see the other pair we looked at, price came back and it was the first attack at that at that um, support and resistance level based off of the fra uh, fractal level here. Well, you could see that here, the same thing. The market went down and it looks pretty much the same, but you hit this fractal level, but you violate it. You're violating bull fractals. This pair is a strong move to the upside also, but then again, we're falling near that 150. Okay, so a lot of traders will get confused when we see that. So if we don't know it's there, we don't have any confusion and we just trade the market, okay? So what I'm looking for now, I'm not gonna jump on a train that's running already, all right, because I could get hurt, right? So if I wanna be careful, I need to wait for the train to move into the train station. I'm looking at the train station. The, nearest train station is right there all right so I need to see the, the um, train come back to this level and then I can trade it all right that's on the daily time frame so let's go to the four hour time frame so four hour we're still moving strong to the upside we, we we're not between two fractals we just violated a bull fractal not real strong but we brought violated this bull fractal you can probably see this market continue higher now we with a violation of that bull fractal we are starting to flatten out on our keys and you are getting a thick cloud so there's a lot of volatility looming so we need to be careful here we had this super strong run to the upside where's this move done is it done at all or is we gonna where are we gonna get that pull back so be careful with this pair here we have just violated this bull fractal until we start breaking bear fractals we're moving to the upside and that's what you should be looking for in trading it so all right so that's New Zealand dollar US dollar US dollar CAD again another pair that's attempting to have a Kumo breakout here we're starting to get to get this um, crossover bears crossover you're getting a cloud that's starting to cross over and be a bearish cloud it's just crossed all right, so I'm thinking you may see a pullback and then the market attempt to attack this level. But on the daily time frame, I would be much aware of this pair because I would trade it to the downside. So you could go to the four hour time frame and already look for entries on this pair. So now what we would look for is a couple of things. It's a little bit consolidated here after the move to the downside. So with this pair here, I'm looking at this four hour time frame to get into a short trade, maybe a bounce off of our previous fractal level here and then the move to the downside. That would be our downside move. And a violation of the fractals as we are here. Then the market continues lower. You get starting to build up some volatility here. Um, I still like this trade to the downside. So we just, just a matter of where we're gonna get in. Are we gonna get in on this fractal break? Are we gonna wait for a pullback? pull back near this level if the market does pull back to 130 133 so it's 130 133 if the market does pull back to that level which align which is in alignment with the Kijinson guys look for that short trade most definitely everything is bearish on this pair look for that trade to the downside and continue to watch to see if we can break out of that cloud with the um, the move to the downside that would be strong all right so that's US dollar CAD US dollar Swiss franc daily time frame pretty much um, sideways and nothing really great with this pair Ichimoku is doing you no justice here I'm not even gonna really look at it on Ichimoku let's go to the four hours see if we could tell anything else we're breaking these bear fractals still I don't really love the price action here 
or in between these two fractals. So you could see the market continue to move to the downside. Where would we find support? Maybe down at this level, somewhere in here. Not a, not a lot of room, but you don't trade based off of what you think. You have to trade what you see. So you see the violation here, and you're up against the, the, the floor. Wait to see if you can get that uh, violation of that lower level. And you may get that level. So you could even enter your trade and see if you violate that lower level. If not, you pretty much break even on your trade you won't take a loss on your trade but everything's pointing to the downside even though we have a lot of volatility here so Ichimoku is not very very well in this uh, kind of environment trading environment all right so let's move on to that's the US dollar Swiss franc and we're gonna close it out with US dollar yen US dollar yen daily time frame sideways nothing really to tell you you could see this triangle pattern the markets getting crunched down smaller and smaller eventually it's gonna break out one way or the other to the upside or the downside alright if it breaks out we need to be prepared so we're going to the four hour time frame and once it breaks out it could be a strong move to the downside or upside we had a break here of a fractal but we're not really paying close attention to the fractals because the market's sideways and we're not really looking at Ichimoku a lot either but now we're trading our trend lines there's a possibility that this market continues to the downside nothing really to trade guys right here you need to just be patient and wait see if we get a bounce here we just violated this fractal I wouldn't trade this with Ichimoku so I would have a different outlook here I would probably trade this to the upside but we broke a bear fractal but again we're, the market is not doing anything real it's sideways kinda angling up angling down symmetrical triangle kinda pattern so I'm not sure what's gonna happen here could move to the downside or could move to the upside currently it's not doing anything so just a pair you want to sit on your hands for for a little while and wait to see what's going on alright so that's gonna be it traders I am done all right, so that's your weekly forecast, and I hope you guys learned something from it. Hope you could use some of that knowledge to find a trade and look at some of the trading opportunities that I mentioned. Wait on those to see if they come to fruition, and if so, boom, you got your mark. All right, so thank you guys. I appreciate you guys, and until next time, God bless. So long.